everyone I'm back and yes I'm gonna I'm in a different view again like I said I have a sinus infection so I'm not looking too hot and it's my day off so I just wanted to relax but I did want to make a video for you so I'm actually gonna show you guys my um, January and February or maybe it's just my February I think it's January and February um, products that are empty my empty products so I know you guys like watching these videos and I know you guys enjoy it when I do them on my channel so I'm going to continue to do these so we're gonna start off and let's get going if you guys want any reviews on any of these, I will not go full in depth on these. I will tell you if I like them or dislike them. But if you would like full review, please comment down below and I will give you a full review on whatever products you are interested in. So the very first things, which I have two of, is the Redken Diamond Oil Conditioner and Shampoo. I actually did buy these uh, from a salon a little while ago and I actually went through them. They're completely empty. I do have some good things and some bad things. Um, I really disliked them both. The shampoo did not lather as much as I would have liked it. The conditioner did not condition as much as I would liked it. So those are not in a good pile. So we'll just stick them to the left. Okay, so the next thing that I've used completely is the Dove Hair Therapy uh, Intense Repair Conditioner. Loved this stuff. This stuff conditioned like crazy. And my hair was so soft, it was just amazing. So cheap versus expensive, I'm gonna go cheap. Cheap works so much better. Um, another thing that got done, obviously these are all empty, but another thing is the Schwarzkopf got to be um, Guardian Angel Gloss Finish Flat Iron Balm. This stuff uh, I've used for so long, I just keep repurchasing it, but I did switch to something else because I don't want my hair to get used to it, so I do like this. This is always a go-to for me. It's a holy grail for sure. Um, the next thing, which is something new that I tried when I ran out of that got to be, is the Tresemme Renewal Hair and Scalp with tea tree extract and sunflower seed oil leave-in conditioning spray. I love leave-in conditioning sprays. I think they are the best things for your hair, especially if you have hair like mine that is curly and thick and frizzy. They're wonderful. So I go through these things like crazy. You don't even know. So yes, I did like this as well. I got some lotions that I went through. So these lotions, uh, I went through the Bath and Body Works Pumpkin Latte and Marshmallow Comfort Lotion. This stuff it smells amazing. I bought the perfume with it and I'm working on the perfume right now. I'm actually gonna be working on a Project 10 Pan. Just pick out some 10 products that I want to use up and then just focus on those because I feel like you guys do like those videos and I enjoy them myself, so why not? This stuff smelled amazing. Perfume smells just as great. Um, another lotion that I've used up is the Wild Madagascar Vanilla from Bath & Body Works. The only lotions that I use from Bath & Body Works are the Ultra Shea Body Cream or the Triple Moisture Body Cream. They're the only ones that I use because they're the only ones that I can actually can moisturize my body. So I loved this stuff. Smelled so amazing. So if you haven't tried it, go out and grab some. Another one that smelled quite amazing is A Thousand Wishes. Thousand Wishes, if you guys haven't heard, is one of their new ones from the holidays. This stuff is uh, so amazing. I loved it. It just smelled so wonderful on my skin. My body took to it wonderfully. So, again, I love Bath & Body Works and their lotions. They're just quite amazing. Um, something else from Bath & Body Works that I went through is the Passion Fruit Colada um, Antibacterial Deep Cleansing Soap. This is quite old. So I'm very happy that I finally went through it. So yeah, this was actually quite nice. I like the antibacterial ones because they uh, have those beads in them, which are really nice. I also went through my Clean and Clear Moist Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. I did not repurchase this solely for the fact that I like to switch up my moisturizer so that way my face doesn't get too oily or too dry or too used to it. So it's actually nice to switch things up. But it is one of my favorites, so I do repurchase this every other time. So I do enjoy that. Um, this is the Be Fine Food Skincare Exfoliating Cleanser with brown sugar, sweet almond, and oats. Did not like this. It made my face really oily, and uh, it was a nice exfoliator. Don't get me wrong, and it did clean my face, but it was it made my face so oily. So that's going to go over there. Um, the next thing is the Dove. Actually, I have two of these. The conditioner and the shampoo. The Dove Advanced Hair Series Oxygen Moisture Conditioner and Shampoo. I did like these for samples. They were nice. 
Um, however, the shampoo I probably used within two days because you have to use so much of it. And the conditioner did not condition as well as I would have liked it, which is really weird because the Big Dove one I actually enjoyed. But however, if since it's a sample, I don't know if they do something different for the samples, but I did not enjoy it. The next thing though, loved. This is the Eva NYC Clean It Up Shampoo. Loved this stuff. It smelled amazing and it lathered like no other. So this is a go. And I think I got that in a boxy charm. Um, the next thing which I hated, I don't even think this is fully gone because I hated it. Um, this is the L'Oreal Oleo Therapy Oil Infused Conditioner. This thing did not condition my hair whatsoever. I had to mix it in with the Redken and that was probably a bad choice because that one didn't lather either or didn't condition either, but this stuff, personally, hated it. Um, the next thing, which is one of my holy grails for brows, especially if you don't have any like me, is the NYX Eyebrow Gel, and this is in the color Chocolate. This stuff, holy grail. I love this. I actually went through this entire tube. Entire tube is gone, and I did repurchase it, so this is a holy grail for sure. The next thing is the Fakai Blowout um, Hair Refresher Dry Shampoo. This was amazing. Um, I think I got this in a BoxyCharm, and I'm telling you, I love BoxyCharm. I will never stop subscribing to it, but this stuff was so nice. I went through it, maybe took me like a week and a half, because I actually do enjoy dry shampoo, especially if my hair, you know, is straight. I can go about four days without washing it again due to dry shampoo, so love this stuff. We're getting down to the nitty-gritty, you guys. All right, so another thing that I went through is this Palmetto Derma Collagen Booster. This stuff, uh, it was nice. I didn't see a difference in my skin at all, but it was nice for the time being. However, I would not repurchase because it just, I didn't see a difference. So, I'm sorry. Um, the next few things are concealers. I have the Glam Natural Concealer in beige, and then I have the NYX HD Concealer in the color Um, in the color CW05, which I'm sorry, I don't know what that color is, but it does say CW05 on there. These two were all right. So this HD one, I did enjoy. It was really nice. Um, it was a little watery for my taste, but I did like it. So that's going to go over there. This one, however, the Glam Natural Beige did not like it. It's a doe foot applicator, but the color and the consistency was not great. Um, the next is actually a perfume, a little sample from Victoria's Secret, gorgeous. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it does say Victoria's Secret, gorgeous. And this stuff is it was in my purse, and I just used it whenever I felt like I needed a little spritzer on myself, so I did like this. It's a very nice, it's kind of like a floral scent, but it's very nice. Um, the next one is also a perfume, which I lost the cap over there, there you go. This is the Forever Red from Bath & Body Works. Um, delicious, delicious, delicious. The only problem is it's so expensive over there that I don't repurchase it, um, which is why I got the small one, because this alone, I believe, was like 10 bucks or something. But if you guys do get a chance to pick this up, please do so, because it is amazing. Um, the next thing is a mascara. I actually have a couple mascaras. I have this mascara. It's called It's So Big. I don't know what the company is, but I did get it in a makeup box. This was a very fantastic mascara. I doubled it up with one of my other ones. I did enjoy that. The other one is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. Loved this mascara. It's so expensive because I don't really buy high-end brand stuff, but this stuff must, must, must repurchase whenever I get a chance. And then the other one is the Achella Eyebrow Defining Gel. I used this until I could not use it anymore. I tried to use every single inch out of this thing because I loved it. Um, this is definitely a holy grail eyebrow gel for me. So, for sure, for sure, positive. We're down to the last few things. So I, as you guys know, I do have acne on my face. So this Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment Salicylic Acid, definitely a must. I switch between this and the other one to keep my face used, not used to it. So this is a plus. Um, I have this Pure Lease Pure Moist um, Moisturizer, which I'm actually using the big version right now, so I do enjoy this. This is just the sample size. Uh, I also have this Pixie Balm 
tinted brilliance balm and this was in the shade unique pink it did not do any justice uh with tint wise on my face on my lips but i did use it until i could not use it anymore so that's actually a good i like that the other thing is a kula mineral sunscreen did not like this i don't know why i just did not enjoy this so i'm gonna set this on this side and then i got the alchemy forever mask brightening moisture mask this was such a tiny sample but it did actually do justice to my face um it did actually brighten my face so i do enjoy this as well and then the last thing is this black out blackhead out um nose strip i really like these i love when i can pull stuff out of my nose i know that sounds disgusting but it actually means that it's cleaning it out so yeah put that there too. So these are all my positives and my negatives. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want any reviews, please post them down below in a comment and I will be sure to do one for you. Thank you. Bye.